good. Especially in science, the challenge is always to be able to show how you get the results you get so that other scientists can repeat what you've done and check whether your results are right. So reproducibility is a core idea of modern science. Open science and open hardware is really taking that to the next logical step and saying, you know, I can't reproduce what you've done unless I can reproduce the instruments with which you did it. And to do that, I need to know how you built your instruments. Thank you for inviting uh, OpenTrans come here. I see part of the problem in biology is, especially on industry or academic, they fight, they kill each other. I think all open community on science will help. And I think the open science world could use a little bit more connectivity. Gosh, it's an, yeah, it's an amazing place where people meet who come from very different communities, but think in the same way about how science and technology should be done and shared. In fact, Gosh is, I define it as we use open hardware to also support an idea or a vision of open science. And my vision, and I think I share it with some people here of open science, is that it's open to other methodologies, it's open to other, let's say, cultural approaches, and also open to, you know, artists. And so it's not that just like opening the academic science, but also just completely opening our idea of what science can be, where all society is involved. The 2017 event in Santiago was um, was strongly, strongly based around um, you know principles of what equitable relationships, um, what trust building looks like between scientists, between uh, community organizers, between indigenous communities. I think we really created the foundation um, to make something that was much more powerful than just you know pulling together people who were building hardware um, and interested in science. And this one, you know, we, we wanted to bring it somewhere um, in Asia, and we had a, a really great couple of local partners that um, invited us to start thinking about what an event here would look like, um, and we decided to come to Shenzhen. I think it's really great to have this diverse group coming to Shenzhen and learn about what Shenzhen has and also uh, with this uh, interaction with the local community and also with the international community coming here, I think there will be uh, new synergies coming out. GASH has a specific mission which is to make open science hardware ubiquitous by 2025. And that mission emerged from a collective commitment from a lot of people that this is important. You are from 34 different countries at last count. So it's a really diverse crowd. Thank you so much. Now that the community has matured to the point where we have regional presence, we have Africa OSH, we have very active groups in Latin America and hopefully also in, in Asia. To really see a much more local uh, flavour of Bosch and that we spread out and enable people to kind of get together and get work done and that we can kind of share collectively in that in the successes and the challenges and the journey together on the Gosh Forum and at future kind of global Gosh events.